Okay, guys, so I have a really cool idea. Holy oh, shit, minute, the title sequence hasn't even happened yet. summoned my mighty lightning warrior. Then I sent that maggot back to the scrapyard. Aye, that'll do. I may have lost the duel, but damn, Pyro sure put up one hell of a fight. Those ancient gears were something else, I tell you. You didn't let me down. Wherever I go, I will find my way back. So wipe those tears off your face. Goodbye. Scout. Oh, hey, Pyro. How are you holding up? I'm really glad you're safe. I was honestly worried you were gone for good when things were looking bleak here. Not gonna lie, it was pretty horrifying to see you transformed by the Combine and nearly kill Engie. <laughs> hey, it's okay. At the end of the day, we all got back. Geez, stop acting like a baby. It's not a big deal. You're safe now, so stop crying like a wimp. <laughs> Pyro, you're such a baby, man. The fuck up! What in Sam hell is going on here? I told him not to worry, because at the end of this whole thing, we made it back in one piece. Then he started crying like a baby. We made it back, yes. But that doesn't change the fact that Pyro still probably has trauma from that whole thing. It's only been a goddamn hour since we got back. Don't rub all of that in his face, Scout. Give him some space. Fine, whatever. But he needs to get over it eventually. Son, I get that you're upset because Spy is gone. 
but remember what you told us earlier. Once that happened, Spock tackled Breen into the portal. And then... God damn it, Frenchie. He told me before he left to find you guys and to not worry about him because he'll find his way back on his own. That certainly sounds like Spy. If what you said is true, then we gotta trust that Spy will come back. So drop that attitude, boy. Everyone was all just freed from wherever we were trapped. Have a little more decency. What was all that about? Scout's letting this whole thing get to him. He basically picked on Pyro for feeling bad about the Combine headset incident. If I'm being honest, I'm not really surprised. Scout has had a lot of mixed feelings throughout this entire trip. I say we just give him some space. So, Engie, what exactly is the plan from here? Well, I called Saxton and let him know that we're gonna be a spy short for a while. We don't exactly know when Spy will return, so all we can do is fight without him. I've prepared some tactics for us to follow when we get back. In just a bit, I'll get my teleporter up and running so we can get back home. Wait, that's odd. I left my teleporter right here. Where the hell did it go? I'll be right back, boys. I'm gonna ask Scout and Demo Man if they've seen it. Scout, my teleporter! Why are you holding it? I'm going through that portal. I'm gonna find Spy. Now wait just a damn minute! One, we are not going in there. Two, you are not taking my toolbox with you. Three, what did I just say to you before? Stop acting like this, Scout! It isn't helping anyone! What is yelling about? What's going on here, mates? Scout! Why are you holding Angie's toolbox? Don't tell us you're going up there. I'm going. If you want to come, then come. I ain't turning back. Scout, lad! That's our teleporter home! If you leave with it, we're stuck here for even longer! Scout needs to trust Spy's word. Claims he will find his way home. Spy has never let us down as a team in the past. Scout! Spy did what he had to do to save us all. If what you told us before was exactly what he said, then we need to trust him. If Spy didn't care about us, we wouldn't be here right now. You and I wouldn't be alive, and all of these citizens probably would have died. Scout, come to your senses. Let's use the teleporter to get home. Spy will be back. I know he will. I'm not handing over the teleporter. If you want to come with me, I'm the only one who has the way back home. When I find Spy, I'll bring us home. <laughs> So that's it then? You're forcing us to come with you? So what if I am? You gonna cry about it, hard hat? Scout will hand over teleporter right now or else... I'll break it, that's right. I'll fucking break this goddamn teleporter right now if any of you try to take it from me. Fine. I'll go with you then. I ain't staying here any longer. The scrumpy at the bar here is mediocre. If I can't get me precious bottles of scrumpy at home, then I ain't saying either. Team does not have choice. Heavy will go with Scout. Scout, you are not leaving us with much of a choice here. So fine, I'll join too. When we're done with this, Scout, you are gonna get some screws retightened in that head of yours. After all I've done for you, Scout, you seriously pull something like this? I don't care. You coming or not? Fine, you don't leave me with a choice. Thought so. The top of the citadel is where the portal is. That's where we're headed. Follow me, everyone. Damn. So this is the top of the citadel? This is where you and Breen had your showdown? That's right. The duel was tough since Breen used cards that we've never seen before. I'm pretty sure this is his office. Spy tackle Breen outside of the window, which makes me think the portal is out there. Now hold on there, Scout! Don't tell me we're gonna go directly outside that window the same way Spy did! I'm not a goddamn idiot, matey. There's gotta be a better way to get down there. Oh, I don't like the feeling this room is giving me. Scout, it's no use. The place is already unstable enough. If we don't get out of here fast, we ain't gonna make it back home. 
Give me that, boy. The fuck? Give All that right, back boys, right let me now. get this teleporter set up. Everyone, I think we should brace ourselves. Incoming. Everyone hit the deck. Ow, my head, my freaking beautiful head, ow. Is team all right? Oh, I must be drunk. Where the hell are we? Boys, I think this is our first time experiencing dimension teleportation. So, this is how Spy got to the fantasy world thingy every year. Man, that is a head trip. So where exactly do we go from here? Up there! That looks like some kind of building! And I can see light coming from it! Maybe someone there can help us! Good eye, Scout. Head up and see if you find a way to get us up there, too. You guys okay? If only Demo and I had our rocket and sticky jumpers, we could just jump up there. This place... I sense danger. Heavy says we should proceed with caution. The place looks pretty old. I don't know about you guys, but I've got a bad feeling about it. I'm with you on that. I guess we'll find out more as we keep moving. Guys, I found a rope! Good work, Scout. Let's move, men. We have some exploring to do. It's some kind of check-in office, but the entire area looks abandoned. Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? Now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. All right, Mr. Sidesman, start talking. Where are we? Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, Soldier lad, heroes, it's just a recording. You're here and how you exactly was I supposed to know that, Cyclops? So, Man, this furniture looks science? completely now, untouched. Ooh, on it's ride so ride comfy, over, so too. I'm looking at some I'm of these Cave papers Johnson. here. Seems like my hunch was right. The science in this place's name confirms it. They were doing research and experiments here. Something tells me these experiments didn't exactly go as planned. All right, boys, everyone gather. Okay, look, I don't know where exactly we are for now. But what I do know is that wherever Breen and the Combine came from, this is that same universe. Meaning Spy is also here somewhere. I've developed a tracking device to track the Vidal's chip on his Invisiwatch. If we follow it, we'll reach him. Great! That's awesome, NG! No thanks to you, boy. We're all stuck here because of you. You had better know what you're doing. If there is even a slight chance of someone on our team dying, I'm placing the exit teleporter and getting us out. Wait a minute, NG! We aren't in our homeworld anymore! How can your teleporters connect between universes? It's complicated, but after a few good tweaks, it can run for no more than a minute. Which is why, boys, this will be our only way out. If we lose my teleporter, we're stuck here for good. So everyone, do not go getting yourselves into any danger. Understand? Uh, yes. Affirmative! Scout, do you understand? Whatever, come on! Let's see where the tracker is taking us. Holy sweet eagles, look at all that flooding! You guys see any way to get out of here? Up there! We can get to that elevator from the staircase right below there. Good eye, soldier. Alrighty, boys, let's get moving. Mission failed. Target has escaped. Ha ha ha! Of course he escaped. Your code isn't exactly programmed to be very mobile. I would like to see you do a better job next time. Oh, now that's something I'd like to see. You're all inferior. Next time, 
I will be the one to hunt down the target. Oh, but Alpha, you always get to go. Reason, I am better equipped for the job than any of you are. Hey, I came close this time. I nearly had him. Nearly is not enough to complete our mission. Alpha, you're such a power freak. Dueling unit KB-606, Sigma, your sass will not be tolerated. Enough. Though the intruder has escaped, he is proof that more opportunities can arrive. Dimension teleportation is how the surface ruler escaped this dimension. We should believe that others can do the same, and hopefully get stuck here. But how do we know that any more intruders will be duelists? We can only hope. But since the intruder was a duelist, others that come after him may also be so. Oh, alert! We have more dual disk signals detected in the innovator's labs. It's just as I told you. Remember, children, let us not forget our goal. Dual Monsters has the capability to power our future. Once we harness the energy from these new intruders and their dual disks, our project will finally be complete. The genetic and life disk operating system will live once again, and Aperture will be restored to its former glory. Wait for them to arrive at the upper labs. Once they do, we I will not shall. Wait. Targets acquired. Pursuing. Alpha, no! Power freak! Foolish child. Whoa, the aesthetics completely changed about this place. Look, the logo and name is different up here, too. This place has different sections from different time periods. God knows how huge this facility is, men. Stay close. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure wherever Spy is, we'll make it to him in no time. Contact with trespassers confirmed. Oh! Oh! Damn it! We don't have our weapons! My superior would say welcome, but I am not him. Dual disk signals confirmed. One of you with one. Step forward at once. Hold on there, little missy. We're just looking for a friend of ours. We think he might have came down here. Have you seen him anywhere? Information confirmed. Previous target has relation to current targets. Once again, one of you with a dual disk. Step forward at once. Oh, come the fuck on! Not this bloody card game again! One-eyed trespasser. You spoke first. For that, you will step forward and duel me. Ah, no! No fucking way! I don't even have a duck or a door disc! Hell, I don't even play this game! Target is not complying. If you do not duel, you will die. Confirm choice now. Oh! Hmm. Tiny robot girl threatened team. Nobody threatens team. Heavy will be your opponent. Wait, Heavy? Are you sure? Scout, may Heavy borrow your dual disc? I mean, sure, but are you absolutely sure you want to do this? Nobody threatens team but Heavy. Anyone else will be crushed by Heavy. You are noble, stepping up to danger to protect your team. Admirable. Very well. Target switch approved. Face me. Dueling system activated. Deck selected. Dual disc system engaged. Good luck, Heavy. We're counting on you. Be careful, Heavy. Send this girl back to Robo Daycare, Kami. Team will stand back. Heavy will crush this girl in no time. Duel. Duel. Trespassers do not take first turn here. I draw. First, I send Mathmec Nabla from my deck to the graveyard. By doing this, I can special summon Mathmec Circular in attack mode. Next, I normal summon Mathmec Diameter. Now both my Circular and Diameter's effects activate. First, Diameter Special summons one Cybers monster from my graveyard back to my field. Then, Circular lets me add one Mathmec spell or trap from my deck to my hand. I shall revive Mathmec Nabla back in attack mode. 
She just summoned three monsters on her first turn. Whoa, this robot chick seriously means business. I'm not finished. Now I overlay all three of my MathMech monsters. Calculations perfected. All systems good to go. Extra deck access unlocked. Exe summon. Deploy. Pre-Math Mech Laplation. Exe summon. I've never seen one with my own eyes before. Those monsters don't have levels and instead have ranks in place of them. I heard they're a force to be reckoned with. Correct. When Laplation is summoned, I can detach any number of materials from it, then activate one of its effects. I detach one material from it to destroy one card in your hand. Hmm. I play the equip spell, Math Mech Billion Blade Nayuta. By equipping this card to my Laplation, anytime it engages in battle, I can send a Math Mech monster from my deck to the graveyard to have Laplation gain its attack points until the end of the turn. I set one card face down and end my turn. Her starting turn was pretty tough. Yeah, but if anyone can take down a solid defense like hers, it's heavy. <laughs> no problem. Tony Robot Guru will regret attacking team. Heavy's turn. Go! Knowing Heavy, his deck is bound to be full of mighty and powerful creatures. I wonder what his first move will be. Oh yes, what ferocious and terrifying giant monsters does Heavy possess in his deck? First, Heavy activates Pot of Greed to draw two cards from deck. Tony Robot Girl, let this duel be lesson for you. Heavy summons Seagora in attack mode. Um, Heavy, if I may. What the hell is that, a tiny koala? It barely has any attack points! Team, trust Heavy. Heavy will not let Team down. Heavy activates spell card Monster Reborn. With it, Heavy revives monster that Robot Girl sent to Graveyard from Heavy's hand. Heavy summons Okashi the Mushroom! What the hell is this, Heavy? You're supposed to be our tank. We're gonna die here because of you. Shut up, Sniper. I don't know what Heavy's plan is, but I know he definitely has one. We have to put our trust in Heavy, even if it looks bleak. Scout is right. We shouldn't judge Heavy's deck after his first two moves, Heavy. We're counting on you. Now show us what you got. Scout. Soldier. Thank you for trusting Heavy. Heavy's monsters may be smart, but Sea Koala possesses a mighty special ability. So long as I control another beast type of monster, one of your monster's attack points drops to zero. Wooey! That Laplacian lost all of its attack points. But even so, with that equip spell still in play, she can just boost its attack by sending a math mech to her graveyard. <sighs> now, I don't know too much about this game, but I'm confident Sea Koala's 1,000 attack points won't be enough to get by. Heavy's two monsters here might be small, but that is exactly what Heavy wants. Now it is time for Heavy's combo to begin. Heavy negative tunes level 2 Sea Koala with level 1 Otoshi Damashi. The blizzard rages and the cold wind freezes your heart. But when all seems lost, look up to the sky and guide you home. Will a shining star, Synchro Summon, descend to Yad, or Zarkic Polari? Oh, look at it. It's kinda cute. I've seen my fair share of small monsters. But this one definitely is the cutest I've seen. But now the question is, what power does it possess? Resortic Polari is small, yes, but strength can come in the smallest packages. Now Polari's effect activates. When it's successfully summoned to the field, Heavy can activate the field spell card Resortic Big Dipper from his deck. Now that is just dynamite. Holy crap, Holy Mary Mother of Joseph. Such a vast and glamorous field spell does not scare me. Even if my Laplacian's attack points are zero. You still do not fear? Then allow Heavy to put the fear in you. 
Now Heavy activates the effect of Erzoctic McBillis from his hand. By discarding a level 7 or higher monster from Heavy's hand to the graveyard, Heavy can special summon it. Arise, Erzoctic McBillis! <laughs> When McBillis is summoned, he can special summon one more Erzartic monster from Heavy's head. Come out, Erzartic Medipolar! <laughs> now Heavy tunes level 8 Erzartic Medipolar with level 1 Erzartic Polari. The stars align into the constellation to reveal your true destination. Synchro summon! Prepare for liftoff! Erzartic Septentrion! Now that is an absolute beauty of a monster. Look at it! Oh man, it's so cool! Now Heavy activates the spell card Erzartic Slider. With this, Heavy can special summon an Erzartic monster from his graveyard back to the field. But it's the short at the end of the turn. Return, or Zarkic make it taller. And now Miggy Polar's effect activates. So long as I control another Zarkic monster on the field, Miggy Polar destroys one spell or trap on your field. Miggy Polar destroys Million Blade. Math Mechlaplation's effect activates. By detaching one material, I can negate the destruction of one of my Mathmech cards in play. Your effect to destroy my Billion Blade has failed. Hmm. Unfortunately, Tony Robot Girl's monster can't use its effects. Where's Arctic Septentrion's special ability negates the effects of all the monsters summoned from the extra deck that don't have a level. Wait, what? Good work, Kami! Math Mechlaplashin is an XZ monster. It doesn't have a level, it has a rank. So Robot Loli can't use her robot's effects. And now it is time for you to feel true pain. Resartic Septentrion, attack Math Mechlaplashin, Lizard Blade! <coughs> and now Resartic McBeelus, attack her directly, Bear Cross Sash! Ow! Way to go, big guy. That's showing her. She's down to just a few life points left. Way to deal that damage, Heavy! And that's why Heavy is the best! I'm... still standing. I will not go down that easily. Target will be eliminated. It's my... But... I can beat him, please. I grow bored of this. Hey, get back here and finish this tool, little missy. You're not going anywhere. Target identification saved. We will meet again. Heavy. Let her go. The important thing is that we're alive. All right, boys. Because of her sudden retreat, I declare this duel Heavy's victory. Heavy, you were awesome. Way to go, my friend. I knew you could do it. Heavy, lad. We're sorry for underestimating you and your deck before. We know now that you were just trying to help us. We promise we'll always have your back. Hmm. Apology accepted, team. We are like brothers. Something so small could never break our bond. Heavy believes this is not the last we will see of Robot Girl. I agree, and it sounds like we're on the right track. She mentioned a previous intruder that just has to be Spy. Hang in there, Spy! We'll find you very soon! Alright, boys. Now on to a serious matter. That thing nearly killed Demo Man because he doesn't have a deck. I hate to say it, boys. But if we're going to survive, I think it's safest if all of us have a deck. No, 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 no fucking way! I am not playing the stupid card game! Cyclops, would you stop thinking about yourself for a moment? I'm not saying we have to like it, but as long as we're on enemy territory, I am not risking the lives of anyone here. If you die, 
you don't respawn. So, son, you're gonna get yourself a deck. Demo Man, sometimes we have to fight those fights that we don't want to. Those battles may be the toughest, but when we emerge victorious, nothing feels better than that. Come on, let me help you make a deck. Fine, whatever, but don't expect me to like any single second of it! Wait a minute, NG. How are we gonna get more cards for the others? Simple. My portable dueling station's card access databanks can also print cards. With it, we have access to every card in the game. So, boys, start lining up, I'll get my dispenser up, and we'll all take turns making our decks. Pyro, I know your memory is still haunted by ancient gear, but that deck never suited you. It's time we get you a real deck. Medic, as the only two men of science on the team, I have a couple of ideas for you. Sniper, let Heavy assist you in upgrading your deck. They're all preparing dueling decks. It's just like you wanted, right? Indeed. Once they all have their decks, none of them will be safe. No worries. They will be no more difficult to kill than any of those scientists were. Alpha made the mistake of underestimating our first target. Do not make the same mistake she did. And what about Alpha? She gonna get scolded? I will deal with her. The rest of you, spread out immediately. Cover all corners. Keep in touch in case we need to relocate. Everything is falling into place. Win or lose, the winners will have the energy I need to power the Enrichment Center and revive GLaDOS once again. Prepare yourself, trespassers, for you have stepped into a new war. 